All right. Um, let's come back to the kind of acting. Like, uh, I read uh, that you get your inspiration through movies sometimes. Sometimes. Certain, certain movies, yeah. yeah. I, I might uh, have which kind of movies are that? And how did you get the inspiration there? Um, from the music or from the acting? or Just from whatever the movie's about or just like... Uh, you get the theme on? Most or? of the time. Most of the time it's about getting money. You know what I'm saying? That inspired me to work so I could get more of it. So, yeah. But... Uh, like certain movies, I done mentioned this before. Like one of the movies I probably have going on the computer screen, some every now and again if I'm doing a beat, it's probably like a movie like uh, Paid for, mm -hmm. uh, or another movie that's real inspirational because I can relate to it to a certain extent is uh, like Fade to Black, Jay Z's Fade to Bla Black. You know, just seeing it, the work process, him in the yeah. studio, and uh, then going back to him performing. You know, that's a real. Dope. I thought that was a real dope movie, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, yeah, most of the time. I haven't really been watching movies recently. I don't think I watched any movie uh -huh. in the making of the Tronic album, you know what I'm All saying? Right. But it's been a while, but, yeah. Okay, let's come to, uh, to your collabos. Um, uh, I read uh, the Random X album with Guilty Simpson and... Um, and uh, who, who, who else? I forgot the name. Who else on there? Billy Simpson and oh, Sean, Sean Price. Price. That's right. Price, yeah. Sean Price. And uh, yeah, how far is that? Is, is it out? Because I c couldn't get any infos about that. This is almost done. We like a uh, few songs away from being done. Uh -huh. But uh, when I get back off of this tour, well, I'll be finishing that up. And uh, that'll be coming out on Duck Down. So mm -hmm. people should definitely check for it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be crazy. It's uh, going to be like uh, who, who had the idea for the joint? Actually, my manager, Heck. <laughs> All right. He was uh he was the guy that uh it started off as just getting Sean Price to feature on one of Guilty's records for his album, yeah. and then it turned into you know uh you know he knew Sean P was familiar with me, but he wasn't too familiar with Guilt. He went to go check out some of Guilt stuff, yeah. liked it, you know. And then I, I don't know, it just came about like yo, what if we did a whole album together? And mm -hmm. Sean was down. I definitely was. I was down with it, and Guilt was down with it. And, Made it happen. We started working, working on songs. Sean Price actually came to Detroit uh -huh. for like a week, and All we right. knocked out about four or five songs while we was out there. And That's cool. Yeah, we finishing it up now. It'll be coming out to some dug down. That's good to hear. Um, and um, you said that you like to love uh, to work with cats like Colin Monroe, for example. Those kind of like real musicians and uh, bringing this kind of new flavor, this indie flavor, uh, uh, to your uh, producing. Uh, uh, how how did how did you get in touch with kind of those? Different genres. Um, I mean, like well, like I just, I just, I just stumbled, stumbled up, like upon Collins music, and uh, one day, uh, oh, just, I, I found, um, I seen his uh, Flash and Lights remix video, mm -hmm. thought it was dope, and uh, went to his MySpace, heard some of his music, thought it was dope, and um, yeah, yeah, I, I hit him up, like, yo, man, I'm feeling what you, what you, what you doing with the music? Uh, it's, it's dope, it's different, and uh, yeah. I, Think it'd be dope if we collab on something, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew he was a new artist, uh -huh. and uh, especially what really made me holler at him because I seen he had Jay Dillon in his top eight. Yeah. So I was like, damn, he must be familiar with Detroit music, especially uh -huh. Dillon's music. So I thought that was dope. So after that, you know, we had like a you know connection on that level. Right. So uh, yeah, yeah, and he, he hit me back and um, sent me a track, and I like I, I thought the track was dope and it was different for for what I was doing at the time and. Uh, all I did was like change the drums that he had on the, on a beat, and uh, yeah, yeah, and that was it. And I did a song. It's called "Without You." And, you yeah, know, I, I like the song. It's pretty tight. Yeah, yeah. It's, I think this is my favorite on the album. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy because it's like it was one of those songs where I was like, man, damn. I know it's kind of it's kind of pop, kind of commercial, kind of crossover sounding, kind of happy, but yeah, you know, I, I felt this does feel good. Yeah, yeah, it was song. real feel like good, that. and uh, it was real synth, but I thought it was dope, and. Uh, I definitely wanted and, to keep uh, it because it was a whole other sound I, ain't, I haven't done yet. And you did some stuff on his record too, on this album, right? Yeah, yeah, this song called Piano Lessons, where which I did the beat this time. Yeah. And you know, he uh, he did his thing over it. And yeah, he actually got a video for it. Uh, you can YouTube it and check it out. I think Joel Ortiz is on the, uh, he's on the record too. He got a, he got a verse on there. So yeah, it's, it's dope. Turned out dope. So hopefully me and Colin do some more work. Yeah, you know, this uh, sounds good. Some more work, yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, are there any other projects that you're currently working on? I heard from Elzai, uh, did you do this Cold Steel uh, album? Yeah, I'm, have produ I'm definitely at production on that. Man, there's so many pro like projects, cats, mm -hmm. we're trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just a matter of time when it all comes out. But, 
Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have my hand in, in a lot of different production for different artists. So it's definitely coming out. But um, like I say, Random Max is, is next. That's uh -huh. the main focus right now is Random Max. And after that, I want to do an instrumental project because I still haven't did like an instrumental album yet. Like a, a, a you know how Mad Lib do his beat conducted thing. Yeah, yeah. You Dilla Menstruals. You had the Dilla like Donuts, and you know P Rock did an instrumental album, and uh, I think Premier just dropped like some instrumental. Uh, project too not too long ago but so I was like I just got to figure out what kind of concept I want to do and um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna definitely try to do an instrumental project okay uh, um, did you think about like doing it kind of like RGD2 style was uh, just just doing it like those straight instrumental things you know RGD2 yeah I know, I know, I know yeah yeah it's talking about like real like, like just where you just can't rap over we just want to do like just sounds I oh, just sounds. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. They, they well, are like kind of they fit together, yeah, right? Yeah. But in this, this sounds. Well, my know? track, my instrumental, I'll probably be a little more like rappable. Uh, right. MC probably could actually spit on it. You know what I'm saying? All right, but, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, man. The only thing I'm scared of about that is because I know once it come out, you know, Everybody everybody's gonna everybody <laughs> gonna be rapping over the beats and you know doing their thing like yeah. how they did uh like how they did Dilla Donuts or whatever, but. Yeah. You gotta expect that. You know, I actually I dropped a uh, purple a uh, uh, a joint called um the purple the music from the color purple where it yeah. was like, you know, chops from Prince Records or yeah. whatever. So and like it's like fifty different <laughs> dudes, artists, MCs, groups that got projects to those uh <laughs> right. ten, eleven beats, however many it was. So Crazy, you know, man. so I know if I do like an official you know, something that I, I take time to do and actually make sure it sounds dope as hell. Know that shit. Everybody gonna be spitting over those joints, but you know that's something I gotta just be prepared for. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so let's talk like uh, something totally different. Let's get back to your name, um, Black Milk. Uh, re kind of reference to uh, chocolate milk. Kind of. You like chocolate milk, or um, you just drink the plain white milk? It ain't really in reference to chocolate milk. I mean, it's not. I got milk. I mean, like before. you, you can see the. I didn't. I didn't make the name Black Milk thinking about milk. Actually, yeah, I know. <laughs> fucking cows and no shit like that. But uh, that was just something that came. I was like 16, 17 years old, man. Writing names on a uh -huh. piece of paper, scribbling shit, trying to come with my come with a rap name and trying to come with something different that was gonna separate me from everybody. And that was the name I came with. I don't know why. I just had it, and I knew it was gonna like stick out and get, get people attention. Yeah, definitely. Whether they liked the name or not, I was like, it's gonna get people attention. But once they hear the music, you know, they'll fuck, they'll fuck with your boy. So. So, yeah, but uh, still, so you didn't answer the question. You like chocolate milk or white milk? Oh, I mean, I hate I hate white milk. I mean, unless it's in my cereal. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. You just unless it's, unless it's in my cinnamon toast crunch. It's my favorite cereal in the world. So that's what, that's the only thing you like, kind of right? It's the only time I like <laughs> white milk is when it's with cinnamon toast crunch, and uh, it's a part of a complete breakfast. All right, it's good. Other than that, yeah. I'm okay, good. Uh, and let's uh, talk some sports. You're probably a Pistons fan, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. you following all that stuff? Cause I, I, I tried to talk to Alzheimer about that, and he was like, "Ah, nah, I'm not watching that too much." I, uh, actually, with me too, I, I didn't, I didn't pay too much <laughs> attention to the seeds this past season. With, yeah. you know, we got Allen Iverson or whatever. So, ah, I didn't feel too good about that, that trade, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, uh, so, uh, but you know, we have, we had a rough season, but hopefully, we get it together. Yeah, oh, Ivo. It's gonna be like kind of really close. I heard last night they lost against the Bulls by yeah, eight. Yeah, so. man, it's like I'm not even thinking about the season. I'm I'm looking towards next season. If Ivo's still with us, hopefully we get it together. But yeah. if we don't, yeah, we won't have. We, we need to do another trade, do Mars. You know what I'm saying? You, he admitted though he made a mis he think he made a mistake by doing that. But uh, I seen that on the news one night. So. All right. Uh, did, did you do you follow up on the college ball too? Or no, I don't really follow too much college. It's really just. Because like uh, I think Michigan State was like uh, number two seed, and uh, <laughs> my buddy here, he's he's, a, he's he was an exchange student in Michigan, so. Oh, all right, okay. <laughs> and I, I was I was an exchange student in Ohio, so you know yeah, I got the rivalry going on, so. Uh, <laughs> Big rival right there, but I know, yeah. I can't comment on that then. <laughs> yeah, shout out to State. Hopefully we uh, we bring it all the way, uh, take it all the way home, bring it through. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Then uh, thanks for taking the time talking no to us, Big Mullick. No doubt. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Okay. Peace.